we probably won't get to see a mugshot of Trump if he gets arrested, but hopefully they will at least show that. I know last time they didn't show a mugshot, but, you know, one can always hope. On former President Trump's historic federal indictment and what we will see today in a Florida courtroom. We are just hours away from something this country has never witnessed before. A former president voluntarily surrendering to authorities to face federal charges. As you can imagine, security is ramped up in Miami ahead of today's hearing. Trump is expected to make his first court appearance on charges, alleging that he knowingly and unlawfully kept classified documents after leaving the White House. I mean, he's on record. Um, admitting that he had classified documents that he shouldn't have and that he didn't have the authority to have them declassified because he wasn't president anymore. So, I mean, there's really little that his lawyers can say to defend Trump, nor is there little Trump can say to defend himself. Trump and his lawyers maintain he has done nothing wrong. The former president traveled from New Jersey yesterday to his Trump National Doral Resort in Florida ahead of today's hearing. He was greeted by both protesters and supporters. This all comes at a crucial time for the Republican frontrunner in the 2024 race, but he is still on the campaign trail with a birthday fundraiser set for later tonight on the eve of his 77th birthday. We have a... Wow, 77. Uh, there should be a maximum age for running for presidency. I mean, if there is a minimum age, isn't a maximum age reasonable as well? And it's funny how so many Republicans still support Trump, even though they all claim to be like for law and order and stuff. And this dude has committed a bunch of crimes and they're like, yeah, we're going to support this criminal, even though we claim to be all about all about law and order when it comes to black people. A full team covering every angle this morning. We're going to start with NBC News Justice and Intelligence correspondent Ken Delanian in Miami and NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalo. So, Ken, walk us through what's expected to happen today. I think even if you don't have a law degree, you know that first court appearances tend to be rather short affairs. How long is this one expected to last? That's right, Joe. Good morning. It's unclear, of course, but as we saw in New York, it, it didn't take very long. Mr. Trump is expected to enter this courthouse through an underground passageway, so it's unclear whether we'll even see him. Um, as you know, no cameras allowed in federal court. The oh, that kind of sucks that no cameras are allowed in federal court, because I was also hoping that they would show the proceedings and see what he says. But, I mean, I guess... Federal courts have, you know, different laws on the media and such, but, you know, we'll eventually hear the rulings of his case and stuff. The first thing he'll do is surrender and be processed by the federal marshals. And, and for a typical defendant, that would include being fingerprinted, mugshot taken, some other procedures they don't discuss. Unclear if all that's going to apply to Mr. Trump. I've been told all along it would, but look, he's going to be accompanied by armed Secret Service agents. He's a former president, so there's no playbook for this. At some point, he will move to the courtroom on the 13th floor here, uh, where he'll have both, as you said, a first appearance and an arraignment, assuming that he has local counsel, which we believe he does. Uh, and so what that all entails is he gets to waive reading of the indictment, a 49-page indictment. Generally, defendants do waive the reading of that. He'll be asked for a plea to these charges. We, of course, expect that he'll plead not guilty. And then we'll see what kind of conditions, if any, this magistrate judge imposes. Um, in, in a sense, this is a, there's a bond question here, but no one expects Mr. Trump to be ordered detained. It's possible, though, a bond could be set. It's also possible this magistrate could place certain restrictions on Mr. Trump. You know, typically federal defendants don't, don't get to savage the prosecution and the court system and the FBI and call their prosecutor deranged without hearing from the judge in the case. Of course, Mr. Trump is running for president, so it's a different situation here. We'll just have to see how this all plays out. But high drama here in Miami, guys. 